Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Josh and I'm coming back to you with another Phantom 3 standard video. This time we're going to talk about the Argtech car kit and how they didn't make one to work with the Phantom 3 standard and how I modded mine to do just that. A couple little updates here and there. Um, my website is currently down because I have decided to revamp the entire thing. I did get the wristbands in. Pretty cool. It says JTO to go and then it says drones, tech tips and more on the other side. Again, super cool. And then finally, at long last, the lanyards came in. They're very, very nice. I really, really like them. And uh, they're a pretty good length. It's right about where you want it. And then drop your remote, you're good. So these will be available for sale soon, both the lanyards and the wristbands. And I'm also going to go ahead and make a Patreon page. I'm going to try to get all of that done by the end of next week. Until then, if you really want to buy these, um, shoot me an email. It's jto to go at gmail.com. Just let me know and, and we can work it out through PayPal and I'll ship it out to you. So I got plenty of them, guys. I appreciate your support. Let's get into this video. Okay, guys, so it's another snowy day here and uh, I'd like to fly my drone, but I want to do it from the comfort of my car, but I have a Phantom 3 standard. Well, I bought the Argtech car kit for the Phantom 3 Advanced Pro and the Phantom 4 and I modified it to work with my Phantom 3 standard. Alright guys, so let's get right into this. I went ahead and ordered this kit even though it's not compatible with a Phantom 3 standard. I'm going to make it compatible. In the uh, package, got two antennas check that out we got the wristbands in you also get this box which contains the little uh, antenna mount with the suction cup which is what's going to mount to your windshield let's go ahead and open this up So these two here, these are actually just extras, just in case you lose those. So to put this together, we'll remove this nut. Pull a little screw out. And you just kind of shimmy it right in there. It has little teeth, almost like gear teeth that interlock together. Now make sure you put this screw in. There's a little square key hole. You want to put the square on the uh, flat head of the nut to line up with the keyhole to keep it from rotating. And replace your nut. So that part's done. Now we're going to put these antennas on the holder. So, so far, this is what comes with the kit. You'll recognize this antenna as the one that comes with the Argtech kit. Some people are telling me that the Argtech comes with three of those 10 dBi antennas. So you can see ours has three and the car kit only has two. But we're gonna remedy that. I bought this little uh, extra antenna booster. I'll link this in the uh, description as well. But uh, I bought this particular one because the uh, it was the only one that had a cord the same length as the Arctech mod. So this is the, actually the antenna that came with my original Arctech, which will finally give us three of the white tall Arctech antennas. What we're gonna do is take some super glue, old fashioned, and you wanna scuff this up um, or use another method to stick it like double sided tape because I had an issue with this falling off in extreme cold so I was just trying to get this together quickly but You'll just scuff it up, press it firmly with super glue or whatever your attachment method is. And once it's attached, all you're going to do is take some zip ties and uh, zip tie the two cords together. Now just clip these off with some needle nose pliers. Do that a few more times. And uh, there you go. So now we have the three 
I'm going to go ahead and put red on the right, just because it's easy to remember. I'm not sure that it really matters all that much. So those go to the two outside antennas, and uh, this one goes to that center antenna that we attached ourselves. So now you have an Argtech car kit for a Phantom 3 standard. Pretty nice. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and then we'll take her for a flight. Okay, so it's like 25 degrees out there. And what this kit allows you to do is just sit in the warmth of your car and uh, fly your drone. My drone's out there, it's on. I'm gonna use my computer. People ask me how I record the screen on my iPhone. This is how you can do it in the QuickTime app on your computer, so. Okay, so here we go. I went ahead and turned on the remote. So now all my Wi-Fi should be coming out of these antennas right here that are stuck with the suction cup on my windshield, talking to the drone. So first things first, let's get uh, let's connect to the remote like always. There it is, it's connecting. And my hands were getting cold just talking to you guys out there. It was very very cold, and this is going to be really nice to be able to use, especially on days like today. I didn't think it was going to snow today, but it it did, and so this is a great example of when you would want to use this kit. So then, same as always, we'll go to the. DJI app. I already calibrated this thing around here earlier. So we got 12 satellites all coming from those antennas. So I'm going to hit the record button on the drone. Video. Let me change. Let me change this to 30 frames per second to match the rest of the footage I've been taking today. I normally shoot in 24, especially in low light like this, but start the recording. And then I'll hit that, there it goes, and she's up. Now I'm sitting inside of my car, flying my drone, and there's the antennas. She's right out there in front of me. Now someone said before I get too crazy flying, I, you should, uh, in the cold, let it warm up. So I'm gonna let this sit here for a couple minutes. I'll speed through that for you guys. Okay, well it's been up there a few minutes. Um, you can check the battery temperature there. It's 24 degrees Celsius. They say 25 degrees Celsius, but is what you should get to, but I'm gonna let her rip here. I'm a rebel. Here we go.
Alright, so back here again guys, um, the Argtech car kit modified for the DJI Phantom 3 standard. I really did enjoy this setup, I'm going to be using it a lot, especially today when I'm finishing editing this video. It is 9 degrees outside with a windshield of below zero, so I'm definitely going to be using this Argtech car kit and it's really going to make my drone a lot more useful in the winter. Um, it seemed to perform well. I didn't do any distance testing or anything like that because of the snow. It usually inhibits your distance a little anyway. Any kind of precipitation will, but again, I will leave the links to everything I bought to get this setup going in the description. Buying through those links always helps support my channel. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, you've been great about that so far. And uh, again, don't forget, wristbands and lanyards are coming soon. And... Uh, I'll have the website set up where you can buy them, or uh, the Patreon account will be up again soon. Um, thanks again, guys. The channel continues to grow. You guys continue to give me awesome comments, awesome support every day, and I wouldn't be here without you. It's becoming more and more fun to do this YouTube thing, and I never thought... You know what? I did think that it would get this big, but for a while I was discouraged, but it seems like it's doing well now. So again, I'll see you guys later. Keep flying those drones, and uh, yeah, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.